There's this clip going around right now that shows Pecora answering a fan questioning whether she still meets with Rusia, in which Pecora simply told us all the truth and said this. <laughs> Most of the comments on that clip are rather understanding of the whole situation since they're just co-workers and while at the company, they're sort of obligated to be quote, friends with one another. However, some people believe Pecora should have either just not responded to this question since it was a marshmallow and she had full reign on whether she pulls that up on stream or not. But I personally think Pecora and a lot of the Holo members have likely gotten this question many times, so she probably just wanted to answer it and put it all to rest because it probably gets annoying to get asked the same thing over and over again. But after Pecora's initial response, she had people asking whether she could still contact her via Discord, which she answers with. So when it comes to Pecora only having the Holo members Discord context, I'm sure that's because in order to have others context using her Holo Live accounts, she probably needs permission to do so. So as Pecora, she doesn't have Rushia's contacts. There's a possibility that Pecora has Rushia's contacts outside of Holo Live, but I don't think she does since Pecora sort of answered that with this. <laughs> Now we do have many defending Pecora answering this entire thing, saying that this is because Pecora is very introverted, so keeping in contact with others is hard to do, and I mean yeah it is, but if Pecora and Ruscio were close before her termination, then even as an introverted person, she should still be able to keep in touch. I'm saying this as an introverted person myself. I think what a lot of people need to understand is that most of the people that join these agencies likely had no idea who each other were, and are essentially forced into friendship for the cameras. Does that mean that there aren't real friendships within the company? No, there are plenty of members that collab a lot and you can clearly tell are actually really good friends inside of Hololive and outside. But for the most part, just because they're from the same company and generation of talents doesn't mean they're really friends outside of work. With Rushia, I do think it's a special case when it comes to the members keeping up with her. Rushia was terminated for leaking company information and there were rumors spread that Holo members disliked her. Now, whether those were true or not will never be confirmed. However, I'm not too sure how Hololive would feel if the members were open about them talking with an ex-talent terminated for the reason she was. As I said earlier, it's entirely possible that outside of the company, Pecora and the other members actually talk to her, but we will again never know for certain. I do, however, understand that for many, it may be hard to accept that a lot of the talent's personality is for show and not how they may act with one another behind closed doors. Hololive is meant to be a happy place and watching them isn't supposed to feel sad, but I think it's important to understand that they don't have to be friends outside of the company if they don't want to be. Most people, and I'm sure many of you, are friendly with co-workers, but once your job is over, you ignore them afterwards, so I can see the same thing being done here. I personally do not think it's a bad thing at all. And I, for one, am actually really happy that Pecora was honest with us, but I can completely understand why others may feel a little hurt, so please let me know what you all think about this entire situation down below. As I now want to move over and talk a little bit about Gargura, who announced her return to streaming a few days ago, stating that she would be returning tomorrow, the 1st of December. Many in the replies of that tweet are really happy about her return, however, others are either upset that she didn't update us sooner, or that she was gone for so long in the first place. I saw some people saying that she's just going to return to streaming for one day and not come back for another two weeks, or that she'll stream for a few days and then leave for an entire month. People also don't seem to want to let Gura use her excuse that her PC broke and it took time to get a new one, and honestly, all of this is just really dumb. I'm sure Gura was either dealing with personal matters and saying she was fixing her PC was easier for her to do, or she was actually just fixing her PC. Either way, I don't personally care and will never understand why so many people get upset when the streamers take breaks and don't update us. They are not obligated to do so. Either way, I'm really happy to see Gura returning to us tomorrow, and I hope you all are too, and I also hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye!